Good morrow, my YouTube friends. It's Sally here, and today we're going to take a look at your Facebook notification settings, our favorite place, huh? Um, I know a lot of us get tons of notifications on Facebook. Um, keep in mind that these do control uh, what comes up on mobile as well. So this is a great place to go if you are just getting too many Facebook notifications. Now the way to access this is you click on this arrow right here, click on settings, and then click on notifications. That is where we are right now. So uh, we will just start from the top here. So take a look at our Facebook's our, our notification settings while we are on Facebook. So just click on that to expand it. So this is where you can control specific things, uh, specific notifications that you receive while you are on Facebook. So we can control sound. So if uh, you don't want to receive any sounds when notifications come in, you can adjust that right here. Um, activity that involves you, uh, you are always going to get notified when uh, there's an activity that involves you, uh, whether you're tagged in something. Uh, birthdays. If you don't care when people's birthdays are, you can turn it off right here. Uh, on this day, uh, you can adjust that here. So I have it set to receive all memories, uh, but you can adjust it to highlights or none. Maybe you just don't care for this feature. You can turn that off right there. Close friends activity, so you can get notifications when your close friends do things on Facebook, or you can turn it off. Sorry, guys. Um, tags, you can receive notifications when you are tagged by, how about anyone? I want to know whenever anybody tags me in anything. So I have that set to anyone, but maybe you want it set to friends of friends or just your friends. Uh, you can edit your notifications you receive from pages you manage, uh, from groups that you're in, uh, app requests and activity. You can adjust that right here. So if you're um, getting notifications from certain apps on Facebook, you can do that. Uh, live videos. So I'm going to turn this off. Uh, actually, suggestions off. I do want to know when my friends are running live videos, so I'm going to leave that, but suggestions, eh, nah, I don't need that. Fundraisers, so you can choose whether you get notifications about fundraisers that you created, donated to, and have been invited to. Uh, new local pages, so um, if you're interested in local businesses, that could be a cool one to have turned on. And then Marketplace, uh, Facebook Marketplace, if you want to adjust your settings for that. Um, so let's take a look at email settings. So email right here, you can turn off certain notifications here. So um, what you'll receive via email, uh, I'm going to turn this to this lowest setting here. So only notifications about my account security and privacy. I, I don't need to get notifications about stuff I've missed on Facebook. I wouldn't say I've missed it, right? Uh, live video settings. So again, I don't want to receive email notifications when live. You know, my friends are going live. I typically don't go live on Facebook very often, so I don't need that setting. Um, we have some settings right here. So offer again. I'm going to turn that off. Wow, I have not. Uh, <laughs> I have not adjusted my email settings for a little while. So down here we can see notifications that we have turned off. So some of these may be up here, um, but you can receive email notific notifications for any of these things. So if you have received messages, posts on your timeline, friend requests, pokes, uh, photos that your tags send, uh, event cancellations. I'm on Facebook often enough that um, I'm probably going to get these notifications on Facebook, but maybe if you're not on Facebook, if you're on email more, that could be a good time to activate some of these uh, settings here. So there are a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of settings. So next I'm going to jump to desktop and mobile. So um, there is a setting here where you can view uh, notifications. They pop up here on your screen even if Facebook is closed. So if you want to stay on top of your Facebook, you can turn that on. Um, on mobile right here, you've got some settings here. Um, 
these are notifications I've turned off. Pokes, I don't, poking is weird, okay, people, it's weird. So, I've got pokes turned off, tags in my videos, uh, friends timelines I'm tagged on. Actually, I'm going to turn that on. Uh, updates to an event you've joined, I'm going to turn that on as well. I think that's important. Uh, posts to events you've joined, comments on posts you, you're tagged in. So these are some options right here. Lastly, we there are text alerts. So let's take a look at text alerts. So I do have text alerts turned off, but you can also re receive notifications via text messaging, on comments, on your status, friend requests, uh, and then there's other SMS notifications. So any of those that you would want turned on, you can go ahead and check that and check those boxes and save your settings. So these are your notification settings. If you are getting way too many notifications, you can really, really crack down to what you want to receive here. Um, don't just get irritated with Facebook. You can control everything that you receive. So go ahead and do that on here. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in today. Don't, for, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website at sallyu.com and have a fantabulous day. Thanks so much for tuning in.